Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So we're gonna be talking about Happy Belly Coffee. So I was on Amazon hunting for a good deal for coffee, and I found a coffee I had never heard of. I've never heard of Happy Belly Coffee. I didn't know they were bought by Amazon or Amazon created the company, no idea. But I found a 24 pack for five bucks of their Colombian coffee. So I went ahead and snagged that up right quick. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on. We're gonna do the Keurig test. We're gonna do the sip test, and then we're gonna talk about the coffee. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So we got the Happy Belly Columbia Medium Roast uh, 24 K-Cups. If you look right here, you're actually gonna see the amount per K-Cup right here. Um, 0 0.33 ounces that's very important when you're buying K cups you need to look at the actual ounce uh, amount per K cup which will determine how much you're actually getting and determine the price because some may have more some may have less and so if one has more and the price is ten dollars and one has less and the price is ten dollars for 24 then you gotta you gotta know that but this is actually an Amazon company. I'm not sure if Amazon bought Happy Belly um, or what, but yeah, this is an Amazon product. It's stated as you search for K-Cups uh, or Happy Belly, it'll show that it is an Amazon product. This is an Arabica fair trade. I like that. I'm all about that fair trading. Um, wow. It shows you how to use this that is quite funny i've never seen that before packaged in usa that's very cool um yeah right there 2018 amazon.com cool um okay all right so i like the minimalist look of this box um it's very straightforward okay here's our best buy nice very nice so it's actually not that far away from where we are now a few months ahead but yeah very minimalist i i really like how it has a um an easy access kind of like a uh you know soda can um uh, box so you just push down in there and you, it looks like you rip this all the way back um, which i use a k-cup um, store thing underneath my Preville Nespresso machine, um, which you've probably seen in my videos, and you'll see it again in this video. I use that. That's my go-to. I may make a review on that. I'm not sure. Um, but let's go ahead and crack this open and take a look at the uh, take a look at the K cup. Now I always want these things to be easier to crack open than they actually are, and I'm very picky about how they rip because I want it to look really nice. So I'm gonna open this kind of like a kind of like a dork and not even really attempt. So right off the bat, you're like, okay, that's kind of not great that you can't even um, open it without, you know, sort of holding it in weird ways. There we go. So that's a little bit annoying. I wish that they would figure that, figure that out for the consumer so that we can easily get that off of there because presentation is everything. Yes, I said that right, presentation. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. So, yeah, that's kind of annoying. They kind of come flying out, but okay. I have to admit that this is the best looking um, K-Cup that I've ever seen. That is very nice. I like that a lot. Um, that is very cool. I'm sure it has the best buy on the side. I don't know. No, it has something. Um, oh, that's interesting. So some of them have a little divot right here. Um, and, and this one does not. Um, I'm wondering if this is actually smaller. Um, you can kind of see where the coffee line ends right there. I think you can see that. Um, I could be wrong, but this definitely feels decent in weight. It doesn't feel like it's 
not got much in it but yeah this is definitely really really nice um yeah it definitely looks better in person than it does on camera it's it's very clean very minimal i really like it um but yeah so we're going to be going ahead and we're going to put this into my keurig single serve um we're gonna do a sip test and then we're going to talk about what i think um are are the pros and cons about this coffee um yeah so let's go ahead and dive right into it okay so let's bust out this k-cup right quick and put it into the single serve keurig machine this is a machine i bought from amazon i'll go ahead and link it down below i will warn you it is not the best at all in fact it dies on me all the time so maybe you should not even look into it but if you want to see what it is you can go ahead and click that link and see what it is um it dies normally um when you don't clean it that's normal but then it also dies <clears throat> when it just decides it does not want to pull in all the water it'll just choose to go halfway quarter way and just stop and then you have to like turn it off turn it on unplug it do a whole bunch of stuff just to get it back to normal um it's one of those things where when it's working you you just don't care about it and then when it's not working you you want to just smash it like an office space <laughs> and just <clears throat> demolish it into a bunch of tiny little pieces. Um, <clears throat> but here we go, we're gonna take a look at how this machine um, brews our coffee. So we're looking for a rich stream as, as we always do, and we're hoping for a very yummy, yummy cup of coffee. So I'm gonna use my Grand Canyon cup. This is now a character in my videos. Um, I use pretty much this one in all of them just because it is so photogenic. I love that cup. Got it from said Grand Canyon. Okay, let's take a look in here. That is looking like a good stream. You can see it's not watery at all. It is very rich. Um, as always, I have a filter on here, but that is close to real life right there. Yeah, that's looking good. I'm, I'm liking the, the color tones and the richness of that brew. Some of these K-Cups, they just produce water almost. It's pretty terrible. But this is Happy Belly, so our bellies and taste buds should be in heaven. Okay, so that's looking good. Okay, we're going to be doing this sip test. Here's my Grand Kenya Cup, and there's my morning hair. You got to love that. It is wild. You should see my beard when I wake up. Sometimes it's all the way to one side. Not fun. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be going ahead and doing the sip test. I'm giving it the smell test. It actually smells really good. I'm <clears throat> very pleased with this Happy Belly uh, so far. And now we're going to be giving it the sip test. And we will put this Happy Belly to the taste buds. Not bad actually quite good i am i'm actually very very happy with this it's it's not too harsh and yet it's not too weak it doesn't taste watery at all which is really awesome and it has a really good aftertaste a really good kick to it and it it wants it makes you want to drink more i'm 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 absolutely obsessed with the flavor right now like it's just so so delectable like it really is a good flavor um, I, you can drink it like I always do straight up, no cream, no sugar, no cake. Um, yeah, this is definitely got all of the flavor notes that you would want. Um, and this is only a single K cup, um, at like, what did I put in there? Uh, 10 ounces or something. Um, eight ounces, eight to 10 ounces. So I didn't even go strong. Like sometimes I'll go six ounces, um, and do two k cups per cup so i'll have like a double shot almost um just to get that flavor hit and that caffeine but this one you can drink it with just one k cup um and i would imagine anything you add to it is just going to make it taste better so this is definitely up there on my my um favorite k cups um and in fact this one i will probably continue to drink way too much but i'll definitely give it a four and a half out of five stars and say that 
I think this is worthy of anyone's uh, taste buds. But now coming up, what we're going to be doing is we're going to cut open the K cup and we're going to see inside of it. So this is going to be exciting. I don't know if you've ever cut open a K cup, but here we go. <clears throat> we're going to slice this bad boy open. This is a used one, so it's already gone through. We're not wasting coffee. This is a house that respects the coffee. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab a pair of scissors. Um, you can do it with a knife. You can really just rip the top off and the filter will come with it. Um, but I decided to cut into it and that way you see it as it, as it is. Um, so if you didn't know, there is a coffee filter in every single K cup, which when I found that out by opening it up, I was totally surprised. You just never think about what's inside of a K cup. You just think about what's there when the final result is and you throw it away. No mess, no, no ha hassle. <laughs> Why was that so hard to say? <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can see there is a filter in here. Um, the, 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 it's ground quite, uh, decently. It's, you know, it's, it's typical K cup, which is like almost a mush. Uh, they grind it so, so fine, like, uh, incredibly fine yet. It's not espresso so it's 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 a weird grind and i don't know how they do it but i'm sure there is a video showing how they do it online um but yeah so i always question like are these filters all created equal i don't know i i'm i'm very interested in knowing but yeah so that's the inside of a k-cup all right there you go that's the happy belly k-cup Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely smash that like button. And if you want to support me and support this channel and be a part of this channel, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And I'm just striving to get to that thousand subscriber mark. So each time I get a new subscriber, you're, you're putting money, future money in my pocket to help my family and help me out. So once again, I thank you so much for watching my videos. I thank you for all the support, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.